This is a very value-oriented board from Gigabyte. It has a three-year warranty, it is an H55 board, and it supports their 3x USB power feature, which is pretty cool, because it means that you can run a bunch of USB devices off a hub, and they will all receive sufficient power. It also has support for on-off charge, which allows you to charge your iPhone or other eye accessory, not eyeglasses, from the USB port even when the system is powered down. Wow, they really don't list a whole lot on the back. Like I said, this is a very value-oriented board. The reason I'm doing this video is primarily just to let people who are shopping for this board have a look at it. Oh, this is a new one. Warning! Wow, that's like a bright yellow warning, isn't it? Onboard video output is not available unless paired with an Intel Core i5, Core i3 processor with Intel graphics technology. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Wow, that's in like every language. Portuguese, Hungarian, Indonesian. What's funny, you know, this is always funny to me. Like when they, uh, when they list what language it is, but don't, but list that in English rather than the language it's actually in. So like they say French instead of Francais. Here we have an IO shield. Here we have two SATA cables. Hey, hey, they finally did it right. Check this out. Two SATA cables, not one SATA and one IDE. Nice. A black and white cover on the, wow, they're really like, this is, they're, they're hitting a price point here. Black and white cover on the manual, included uh, drivers and utilities DVD, don't use this, download the latest off the Gigabyte website, and then the board itself. So they are not, uh, no frills, no gimmicks, just motherboard. You know what? To be perfectly honest with you, even the anti-static bag feels thinner than usual. I'm not even kidding. Like, okay, here, 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 here. This, this bag is from another Gigabyte motherboard. Let me see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, beyond a shadow of a doubt. This is a different bag, and the one that I'm holding here from the other board is thicker. The other one's actually from a, uh, an H55M S2H. So this is the S2 because it does not have H, which is HDMI. So this is VGA output only. It is like super ultra value. Let's start in the middle where we see our socket 1156. So that supports Core i3s, Core i5s, and Core i7s. You've got your 4-pin connector up here in the top left where it belongs, and your 24-pin connector over here on the right. And that is something that I'm really impressed to see because a lot of the time you see value boards sacrifice the layout because it is cheaper to engineer a board with the power sources closer to where they actually need to be delivered. But it is way more convenient for someone trying to build a system to have them located here and here. So kudos to Gigabyte. Even though this is a value board, they are not cheaping out where it actually counts. We've got two DIMMs. Sorry, you gotta pay a little bit more if you wanna install four DIMMs, but with four, dim, with four gig single DIMMs getting so cheap these days, you can actually equip this with eight gigs of RAM, even though you've only got two slots. So without paying much of a premium, you can just go that route. Six SATA drives supported. Again, very cool to see them not uh, skimping on those because six are supported by the chipset. So put six pieces of plastic on there and everybody's happy. All right, down at the bottom, we've got our front panel connectors. We've got a couple of USB headers. No COM port. We have one, two, two fan ports uh, on board on the motherboard, which is about what I'd expect on something like this. You've got a PCI Express 16X slot. You can see it is wired for full PCIe 16X. Two PCIe slots and one PCIe 1X slot. There's your front audio connector. And then for our back IO, we've got pretty much bare bones, although I'm very happy to see a ton of USB ports on this board. That is absolutely thrilling because that's a valuable feature for someone who's just looking to build a value system and they tend to like a lot of USB ports. I can't explain why. Okay, we have PS2 keyboard and mouse, VGA out, eight USB ports, gigabit LAN, and 5.1 audio. Although if you want to use a mic, then you'll need to only use a 2.0 audio. That's pretty much it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the GA H55M S2 value motherboard from Gigabyte.